Hey how's it going guys I'm Saman Yugag and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to manually install Android 5.1 on Motorola Moto G XT1033 and XT1032 variants. Now before proceeding any further please ensure that you have backed up all your data and all your stuff on your Moto G as you will be losing all your data in this process. Also ensure that you have unlocked the bootloader of your Motorola Moto G and you have the latest Motorola drivers installed. If you don't have the Motorola drivers, you can just head over to the description and download the Motorola device manager which installs the drivers automatically. Also you need the universal ADB driver, the link for which is in the description below. Uh, so you can just head over to the description and install it from the link below. Also please check out the frequently asked questions in the description before asking me any questions in the comments. Ok so now let's get started. First let me show you that I have the Motorola uh, stock Motorola Android 5.0.2 on my Moto G. So about phone and you can see Android version 5.0.2. This is the stock Motorola version and I am using XT1033. Okay, so now you need to power off your Moto G. Now we need to head over to the uh, bootloader. So what you're gonna do is press the volume down key and the power key simultaneously for 4 to 5 seconds. So you'll get in the bootloader mode. Now just connect your mobile to your PC. Now we need to extract the uh, stock android to gp.rar file. So you can use any extracting software like WinRAR to extract it. After ext extracting it, you will get this folder, stock android to gpe and these are the files that you will get. So these are the two main files, the any kitkat firmware to 4.4.4 gpe and android 5.2.4 gpe. So just click on android 5.2 gpe 4.4.4 and let it do the steps, install it. So it will take like 5 to 10 minutes and install 4.4.4 GPE on your uh, Moto G. Now your Moto G will reboot and boot into the Android 4.4.4 GPE and you will get this welcome screen. So now you again need to just uh, power off your device. Now again head over to the bootloader mode by simultaneously pressing the power key and the volume down key. Now click the volume down key and then the volume up key to go into recovery to get into the stock recovery. You will see this uh, Android bro uh, broken logo with an exclamation mark. This is the recovery. Now we need to press the volume up key for a few seconds and then press the power key one or two times. So this is the recovery, Android stock recovery. Now just press the volume down key and then the power key to select apply update from ADB. Okay so here we go. Now we have selected apply update from ADB now connect it to your PC and in the same folder you will find a file called side load lollipop. So just run it it's a bad file and it will load the Android 5.0.1 GPE into your 4.4.4 GPE Moto G and it will take some time like 15 to 20 minutes and keep it running so wait a few seconds and you will see that and see you will see the percentage of transfer so after it has transferred it and installed it you will see this screen on your Moto G uh, all this uh, now just click, uh, click the power button to reboot your system so after you get the welcome screen on your Android 5.0.1 GPE again you need to power off your device Head over to the recovery mode first. Uh, 
again get into the recovery press the volume down key and then the power button sorry the volume up button so again now to get into recovery hold the power key first and then press the volume up key you will see this menu now click the volume down key and then the power key to select apply update from adb and you will get this screen now head over to your pc and extract the android 5.1 zip file so you will get uh, this folder with these four or five files now connect your moto g to your pc and run the install ota file install ota bat file and it, it, it will load the android 5.1 ota update into your android 5.0.1 gpe So we have successfully flashed Android 5.1 on our Moto G. Now the installation for XT1032 is complete. They don't need to do anything else. But uh, the XT1033 users need to flash the network fix to get the uh, network and the Wi-Fi. Okay, so now after you boot into the Android 5.1 Lollipop welcome screen, you need to power off your device once again and head over to the bootloader. Now connect your device to PC and go back to the stock android to gpe folder now you'll find the xt1033 folder there just open that and run the network fix dot bat file this will fix your wi-fi and your cellular connection just wait for a few seconds and now disconnect your phone and it will boot into Android 5.1 so now we have successfully installed Android 5.1 on both XT1032 and XT1033 just go through the setup and uh, set up your Moto G 5.1 lollipop Ok now let me show you that it's actually Android 5.1 So let's head over to the settings And about phone And you can see that my model number shows XT1032 and Android version is Android 5.1 It will show XT1032 for both XT1033 and XT1032 Because we have converted XT1033 to XT1032 Thanks for watching my video Do like this video and comment below don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more cool stuff, how to videos, tutorials, reviews and much more cool stuff. Till then stay connected. Bye.